Hello good people, welcome back to Bensta Farm. Uh, today it's all about uh, plump work. So uh, I'm trying to connect my HDP pipe, build some T's that is junctions. Uh, I also like to install a sprinkler. Uh, there is a, just a main pipe. Uh, there is a, just a running from that end to here. And uh, before you continue, please ensure that you subscribe to our channel. Uh, you share to your friends and also leave a comment whatever i know there are so many professional plumbers eh? uh, but uh, mine is uh, juakali eh? uh, but at least i have a knowledge of uh, how it's done and instead of uh, calling a plumber all the way uh, to come all the way from uh, i'm at uh, my rural area uh, that's uh, the nearest plumber is around uh, i think 30 kilometers away why can't I do this myself? And the main purpose of this video is just to educate uh, fellow farmers on how to do connect these uh, uh, this plumb work, uh, these connectors uh, using uh, the connectors, accessories, plumb work accessories, and all that. Yeah. So uh, let's hope uh, you learn uh, from me. Check, see how the work is done. Very easy. Huh? So I'm gonna, right here, I have my, can't remember the name of this tool, but you'll see me using it. Uh, I have my axle here, right here. I have my T, uh, I have my valve here. I have another one, right here. So basically, <clears throat> I just want to do a, uh, irrigate my, I just want to irrigate my small garden. As you can see, I'll show you when the sprinkler is working. You need to have a, a T here because the water will be from this side, heading that side. So you need to have a valve right here. And you need to have another valve right here. Hmm. Part of this uh, valve is uh, when you want to the water to come this way, so you lock that side. So when you want the water to go straight you lock this side so stay tuned as you see how i'm doing the the plumb work this part eh? uh, so there is this part you need to ensure that you cut this straight so you use some of these accessories eh, to ensure that you cut this side so you put it the accessory right there uh, this plastic thing and then you cut So with that, as you can see, this ensures that you cut it straight at, a, at the right angle. So you put that right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Ensure that it is uh, the right angle. These are just basic skills, eh? you need to be having them. Eh? So basically you put first this part. Like that. You follow up with, uh, just to confirm whether you are putting the right, uh, the right accessory. to ensure that they are the same you see this one is for the other side eh? for that one so you have to look for the accessory which resembles this yeah this one so put it there uh, like that and then there is uh, this part right here so always ensure that there is this rubber. Eh? Huh? This is the one which closes the gap between. Uh, in case you haven't cut like uh, you cut a crooked, you cut the HDP in a crooked way. This is what uh, the pressure between this other side and this other side. Eh? 
presses itself to this rubber eh? so ensure that there is this rubber and you have installed it first like that then there is that part you can either put it this way or you can slot it this way inside there and then press this like that ensure this is uh, on the upper part then press that there and then you close it so ensure that this piece goes up to the hand and then now you start tightening up eh? just easy to install these things not as rocket science eh? so like I said this is used for tightening instead of having a uh, can remember that is a metallic thing which has a gear where you roll it according to the size of your um, not good in this plumbing words so you have to apply all your gunny and tighten in these things eh? Yeah, so I think uh, I think we're good with that part. So that happened to the other side, this one. also you lock this part okay that's good so now that's done you need to have the right measurements of uh, is that plastic Sure that you have the right measurements. Eh? So this I'm gonna do. I've already measured. Guys, you remember the process we followed? Just to ensure that uh, everything is okay, we need to use this. Eh? Yep, good. Side is done. So this side. Okay. Followed by this. 
remember this groove uh so these locks on this side eh? these locks these to make sure that this doesn't uh, pull out eh? and to make sure that this doesn't pull out because it's tightened by these uh, sharp grips over here so make sure you put it in the correct way like that <coughs> the one part which is missing right right there so we start it up to the far end where the rubber is pull this so that part locks in a way that this uh, pipe is not going to move eh? then push it then lock it So lock it like that. I need your energy again here. Okay, then I lock it later. So the other part which is remaining is this, make sure the rubber is in. Like that. Make sure this part is in. Like that them up into the other side, put that, like that, make sure this one gets into, like that, then it's time to join there, like that, then lock it up. Let's make sure that you hold this doesn't move so that you can lock it well. Eh? So this tool comes in handy. Time to lock the other side. Uh, got to put some energy. Uh, okay. We have our teeth here. You can see. And we have our a valve closing. Uh, whenever I want the water to come this side of the T, I close that part. Then I'm gonna put another valve here. I'll just show you after the video. Just hold on. Uh, so guys, time to do the other junction. Uh, it seems like the pipe which was shorter comes in handy. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I do that, then I do the valve on the other side. Eh? So hold on. So I'm still in the process of uh, Tightening it, so as you can see, uh, it's uh, taking shape. It's taking shape. You can see. There is my T, well tightened. So I have my uh, T to my sprinkler. Huh? Uh, so guys, uh, I'm gonna do a reducer from uh, 40 mm uh, to 30 mm, and then uh, uh, do a valve. And then do a valve then after the valve now this is my sprinkler which i'm gonna use to irrigate the uh the landscaping so stay tuned so we just put it the right way uh, remember guys you have to place this first followed by that uh you can always do there is this uh, ring here you can always do it you can insert it first in the in the reducer and then press it together so after that bring it close then tighten it up 
is a, I think technology has isn't everything, eh? Hmm? Everything has been isn't. Huh? So you, I think this is 3D printing or something, eh? So this thing I just printed in 3D with a printer. And try you get uh, your accessories. Not like a long time ago where we used to use the PPR. <laughs> I uh, used to use the PPR whereby you have to use a uh, hot metal uh, to soften this this part, then you insert it. Huh? It was crazy. Hello, good people. So, my landscaping is taking shape. And uh, I was just showing you how to uh, do connectors. I was doing a tea. Uh, it's just a small farm which is somewhere. I was doing a tea. Uh, from that uh, main pipe which is going somewhere else to my landscaping and uh, now you can see uh, far end uh, that is the the teas I was making and uh, they're taking shape there is uh, the valve on this side you can see there is the valve on the left side and then there is other red valve eh? so this is what is happening eh? so at least uh, my sprinkler, which I made, is uh, taking shape and uh, it's working very well. Eh? Because it just needs a little tweaking here and there, just to ensure that uh, the spray of the water is okay and towards the the way I want it, the right direction. You can see I'm getting at least a radius of around uh, a radius of around uh, four four meters. If I tweak it well, I add a lot of some pressure and all that, it's gonna go to around seven meters. Eh? Hmm? So it's easy yeah. now. I'm gonna irrigate. Uh, it's easy to irrigate this uh, landscaping, so that means my grass is going to grow now. Huh? So you can see one <clears throat> point, and then there is uh, this other point whereby I got some uh, uh, flowers, some landscaping flowers. Eh? <clears throat> so you can see them. Hmm? Uh, those are just some uh, lemon, lemons, uh, lemon trees. Mm. Uh, there is this, I don't know <laughs> what they are called. Uh, there's this, uh, there is that, there is a bunch, a couple of that, a bunch of couple of that, a couple of uh, the palm trees. Mm. There is a bottle brush over there. Uh, there is this. Yeah, there is that. So this is just uh, for test purposes. Uh, just to ensure that the landscape, the landscape looks good. And, uh, you know, I done some patches. You can see some patches of grasses. Eh? So that was the main aim of uh, making these, uh, this sprinkler. So I've never done sprinkler before. But with this kind, I think I'm going to include uh, several, like two or three. Or maybe that one is just moved, depending on uh, after whatever I'm irrigating. So I'm left now with the tweaking here and there to ensure that uh, whatever the, goes, uh, the water goes to a radius of around seven meters, eh? which is okay, which means uh, just a matter of doing, uh, yeah, doing uh, three, three points, which I'll measure on. So that's it, that's it for today. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Ensure that you share this to your fellow farmers. Ensure that uh, you enable that notification. Huh? Whatever advice you want to give us, whatever comment, please share it at the Dropbox. It's your guy from Benstar Farm again. Hi, Dios.